Welcome to Audiobook Lovin', a month-long event celebrating audiobooks, the narrators that perform them, and the authors that write the stories. Audiobook Lovin' is brought to you by Viviana, Enchanters of Books. Hello, audiobook lovers. Uh, Dorinda Jones here. Welcome to Audiobook Lovin', hosted by the vivacious Viviana. Um, I just wanted to stop by and thank everyone for reading and listening to the Charlie Davidson series. Um, I love writing Charlie. I love dreaming up ways to torture Reyes. Uh, and I love inventing new situations where Cookie has to come in and save the day. Uh, not to mention... You know, uh, Uncle Bob and Garrett and Angel and Aunt Lillian and Mr. Wong and Amber and Quentin and, of course, the delectable Oshikiel. I gotta say, writing the last book was torture. It thrilled me to bring closure for now to Charlie and Reyes' story and to give them their happily ever after. By godly standards, anyway. <laughs> Uh, but saying goodbye was honestly one of the hardest things I've ever done, ever, 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 ever. Um, I think I enjoyed writing Charlie so much because she says what's in her head. She's not out to win any brownie points. She's out to do the right thing. And we get to see what she's thinking, which I dare say is startlingly similar to how we all think when dealing with some of society's less than favorable personalities. Um and then watch her thoughts manifest in strange and often disastrous ways. But that's what made her so fun. You know, after about, uh, I would say, maybe the second book, I really just started to channel her. I didn't even have to think about, you know, I, I wouldn't say to myself, what would Charlie say here that would be funny? Her personality just flowed uh, and flourished on the page without me even having to think about it. And so that was just so much fun. And she says things that I could never say and get away with. You know, she gets to, to get away with things. And Reyes, oh my God, of course, that boy. Uh, let's just say he was smoking hot from day one, in my head anyway. And that hotness only grew as the series continued. Uh, I had such a crush, such a crush. But I feel like their story wouldn't have been nearly as successful as it had been uh, if not for the the golden voice of our own Lorelai King. She is, in a word, amazing. She took the characters that I had stuffed into my head and breathed life into them. And I am forever in her debt. Seriously, I can't even express how much I love this woman and, and how much she has done for this series. And again, none of this would have been possible without the readers, you know, and the listeners, um, which is you, the Gremlins. Uh, you are the most amazing readers and listeners on the planet, and I cherish each and every one of you. I am so honored that you not only spend your money, but your time, you know, which is often more valuable um, on something that I wrote. It's humbling. It's beyond humbling. It's bumbling. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But really, guys, thank you so very, very much for just being in in this with me. I feel like that we've just all gone through this journey together. And of course, this isn't the end. Did you really think it would be? Uh, if you've read or listened to the last two words in Summon to 13th Grave, you know I left things in a bit of a quandary. Uh, just know that I am hoping to get to Beep and Osh's story in the next few months. But first, I have a brand new series coming out. Um, the first book is called A Bad Day for Sunshine. And it's about a female sheriff of a small town who has to deal with a missing girl, a missing boy, and a missing award-winning rooster named Puff Daddy her first day on the job. Uh, not to mention dealing with her emotions when her old crush comes back into the picture. Um, if he didn't leave heat trails everywhere he went, Sunshine's life would be so much easier. I hope that everyone who loves Charlie loves Sunshine just as much. Her story has been a roller coaster to write. And let me just leave you with a name, Levi Ravender. Oh my God. Thank you again to Viviana and to all of you who love to read books as much as we authors love to write them. Thank you.
audiobook lovin'. Hope you've enjoyed this program.